Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is the gas puzzle that was posted on September 3rd, 2024. Uh, this puzzle is by a guest setter, James Sinclair from Artisanal Sudoku. There is a link to his ongoing project. Um, he publishes a puzzle newsletter um, and there is a link to that on the screen right now. So James is a friend of the channel, and he stepped in to take over Philip's slot in the rotation for a day while Philip took a day off. And he's given us a quadruple Sudoku. So what's going on here? So we place the digits one through nine, oops, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And then in addition, there are also quadruples clues in the grid. These clues that have four numbers surrounding a um, the corner of four cells in a white dot tell you four digits that have to appear somewhere in those four cells. So for example, we have a two, seven, eight, and eight here. And that tells us that the digits surrounding this white circle have to include two, seven, and two eights. Often in quadruple Sudoku, you'll see dots that actually have fewer than four numbers. In that case, you can have a repeat or you could have any other number. But here, James has been kind enough to give us completely filled dots. So we can pencil in everything just right from the beginning. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. This can't be five or nine because of the overlap here. That can be one, two, six, or eight. This is going to be two, four, six, or eight. This will be three, four, or nine. And these will be four, seven, eight, and nine. And I'm going to start down here in this corner because this cell can't be a three because it's in the overlap with this four, seven, eight, nine. And so to have two threes here, they have to be there and there. I have this four and eight here that eliminate four and eight from these cells. So that gives me a four and an eight for this quadruple here. And that makes my last digit in this quadruple a nine. These can't be six or eight because of the six and the eight in the row. So that is a two, four pair. And this is now a six, eight pair. So this cell can't be six or eight and neither can this one. So those are my one and two for this quadruple because of the one up here, I know which one is which. And this is either six or eight. And I have an eight now in the row that I placed earlier and that disambiguates everything. And the two is also gonna give me the order for the two and four. Now the two, four eliminates two and four from these cells. So that's a six, eight pair, making these two and four. Now I need two eights around this clue and I can't place either of them here. So they must go in those two positions to avoid seeing each other. That makes that my seven. The eight gives me my six and my eight. That's not a six, okay. This is in a region with a one, three, four, six quadruple, but it's not on that quadruple. So I'm gonna eliminate three and six from that cell. Now, I'm going to need to do, I believe, a bit of Sudoku to continue this puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this region, I need one, two, five, and seven. That can't be a seven, that can't be a two. Here, I need one, five, and seven to finish the row, row six. I have five and seven here, so this will be a one, making this a five, seven pair. That five, seven pair eliminates five from these cells. So this will now be my five and that will be a six. In this region, I need one, four, and nine. The one eliminates one from those cells, so my one will go right there. Therefore, my last digit in this column is going to be a three. These will be five, seven, and nine. Now in these two cells, I'm going to need a one and an eight to finish the row. So this will be my eight, that will be my one. Here I need six, seven, and nine to finish the region. There's a seven right there, so I could eliminate seven here. That makes this a seven, gives me a nine and a six, and that's gonna finish off this entire region and kind of bounce over here to finish this region. This can't be a four, this also can't be a four because of the four in the column. So that will now be a four. What do we need in these corner regions still? So here we still need one, two, five, and six. These can't be five because there's a five in the row. So that's my five. And now I have a one and two in this column. So there's my six. And I need to place a four and it will go right there. 
To finish this row, I'm going to need four, eight, and nine. Fours can't go in those two cells, so my four will go right there. Here I need, oh, I've got a five already, so that will take care of the five, seven. Here I need three, two, and nine. Neither of those can be three because there's a one, three pair here. To finish the region, I'm going to need seven and eight. The nine will take care of this three and nine, which will take care of this eight and nine, which will take care of the seven and eight. There's a lot of just digits bouncing around in this grid. I really enjoy how this is unfolding. Here I need two, three, five, and seven. Two and three will go there, five and seven will go there, and that should give me enough information to untangle the bottom of the grid entirely. Up here, I'm going to need two and six, one and two, three and five, one and three, nine, and to finish the puzzle, one. There we go. And that is how you solve quadruple Sudoku. Um, it's called Gran or Glanville by James Sinclair. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully we'll see more from James in the future. And if you want to check it out yourself, the link is in the description of this video below. See you next time.